All right, so we get another look tonight at the great Yair Rodriguez, DC. It's hard to remember a fighter being as hyped as Rodriguez was when he made his UFC debut at UFC 180 back in 2014. And for my money, he has largely lived up to that. Hype. Yeah, he's lived up to expectation. I remember when we met Yair on the Ultimate Fighter Latin America, right away you understood that there was a star quality about this kid, but also an ability to just be free inside of the octagon, and it shows in his performances. The knockout of the Korean Zombie will stand the test of time because it was one of the greatest fights you had ever seen, and Yair and his toughness allowed him to go and find that knockout with very short time left on the clock. At 26 years of age, that highlight that he produced, one of the best in UFC history, we'll see if he can follow it up with another win here tonight. Here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking. The guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not completely. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Rodriguez is 27. Nurmagomedov is 31. Rodriguez is one inch taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! blue corner this man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 15 wins three losses and one no contest he stands five feet 11 inches tall weighing in at 145 pounds fighting out of chicago illinois yeah el patera rodriguez And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. It is not a question of if, it's a question of when this fight hits the ground. You've got a grappler, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Most people think we're going to get a grappler's delight tonight. Yes, we are going to get a grappler's delight. But for the Jiu-Jitsu player, for the Jiu-Jitsu fighter, he cannot allow for himself to constantly be on his back. Because in the grappling room, not only do these guys possess great submission skills, but the ground is... Oh! Ball, straight right! That 
punch, no good. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmago Medov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, he lands off. Couple of chins here being tested early. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice strike. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Throwing that jab, no good. Well placed kick there by Rodriguez. And he landed the right hand there. That was a thudding leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Nice jab by Nermago Medov. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. So 33 total strikes have landed for Yair Rodriguez. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is a money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, nice jab. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss. Finder Mako Metal. Counters with the straight right. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Nermago Medov. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Effective punch there by Nermago Medov. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Ninety seconds now to go in round one. Oh man, head kick land. Rodriguez lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just misses with the jab. Less than a minute to go in the round. Mago Manov gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Kick there by Rodriguez. Flips him with the left hand. Oh, wow! Head kick. Nice punch, man. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us to the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet. 
that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Effective punch there by Yair Rodriguez. Counters with a right hand. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Rodriguez. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut of the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting this. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. So 89 total strikes have now landed for Yair Rodriguez. Just below 50% now landing with 47% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Not there. Nice punch by Rodriguez. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping it every time. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Effective strike there by Rodriguez. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Though. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Straight right hand now just misses. Big head kick lands. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp too. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Nice punch there by Rodriguez. Beautiful hit kick. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Good stick. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Nice jab by Nermago Meta. Wow. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Head kick. Four shots landing on both sides here.
All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponent because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice punch here. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Straight right, he misses. Nurmago Medov gets touched by that kick there. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Nice head kick. 149 total strikes have landed for Yair Rodriguez. And the accuracy rate, by the way, if you're scoring at home, 47% to this point in the fight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Pretty good right hand. Nice. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Nermago Meta. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. How good is that right hand? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Rodriguez lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice right hands. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look how he's trying to skip into that leg kick. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Look how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Knee to the body. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Yair Rodriguez. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, missed on that one. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Big 
kick lands. Right hand. 15 seconds to go. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Straight punch lands. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye, because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. You got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and... Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice punch by Rodriguez. The double jab there by Nermago Meta. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh! Oh! He's hurt. Oh! Oh! Go get him. Back to the Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ninety seconds. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Oh my goodness! What a fight! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. 
finally he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. the winner by knockout, yeah, El Patera Rodriguez. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know 